All right, what's going on, guys? Hope you all are doing well. So this is going to be the ultimate guide to Forsaken. This is going to show you how to do literally everything you need to do in the map in order to get set up, find Pack-a-Punch, turn on power, get perks, stuff like that, and even including a bunch of really neat side Easter eggs as well. This map has by far the coolest side Easter eggs out of any Cold War map, so I think you guys are going to enjoy these quite a lot. Now, it's important to keep in mind to not confuse this with the full main Easter egg guide, which I have a separate video for linked in the description. If you want to complete the main quest and get the cutscene, I'll have a video for that linked down below. This is just going to be for the map generally and like how to interact with all of the things it has to offer. Now this did take me quite a while to put together so if you guys do enjoy the video or if this helps out at all I would really appreciate a thumbs up that would be great. If you are new to the channel of course remember to subscribe. This is the final Cold War map but this isn't the end for zombies as we have Vanguard coming out really soon and I'll have plenty of content coming out for that. And also last but not least I am selling limited time merch. The link to that can be found in the description uh, because it's getting colder and hoodie season is definitely here. If you guys want to support the channel and also pick yourself a really neat hoodie link in the description go check them out and that would be very much appreciated but without further ado let's get into the ultimate guide to cold war zombies forsaken so we're going to start from the very beginning of the map and spawning in here. Once you're in the spawn room, this one functions a little bit differently than all the other ones we've had in Cold War. And more importantly, almost functions like No Man's Land from Moon. You basically have increased zombie spawns and the rounds flip a lot quicker than you're most likely used to. In order to get out of the spawn room, you just need to interact with the teleporter all the way in the back of the map. So just as soon as you finish that, you can then go through the teleporter after surviving the 30 seconds and starting that lockdown. Keep in mind that this actually does get pretty tricky if you're like not paying attention. It's a lot harder than what it'll say on screen like round six. The zombies are pretty frequent, so just be very careful about doing this because you can die in the early game if you're not careful. But go through the teleporter once it's open and in the next section and the checkpoint, you can actually buy Juggernaut pretty much straight away, which in my opinion, because of the difficulty of this map, you probably should. And then at this point in the game, it's pretty ideal to have somewhere around 9, 10, maybe 11,000 points in order to open up the rest of the map that you need to get to all in one go. But you can continue pushing forward and you can buy the zip line, which you can just basically walk on through and then into the main street. Now, from this point, I, the only thing I'm going to recommend is just buy stamina up so you can get around the map a little bit quicker and then go straight up to the next teleporter. This will take you to any town. And what you need to do right now is basically follow the guides on screen to gather all the parts. But if you really want to, you can just head straight for the teleporter itself however you cannot interact with it as it needs repair and in order to do that we're going to need to get four different tools for the repair kit although they're all very easy to find and each and every single one will be located in the same building every time once you play the map enough you're going to memorize exactly where all of these are but until then if you're just playing this for the first time best thing you can do is go to the teleporter that leads to the bunker it's going to say that it needs repair and then now the first one you're going to look for is in burger town it's literally going to be a fryer there's only three spots for these per building but they're just like really right next to each other pretty much the second one is in the vcr repair shop and this is like a little computer monitor you're looking for all of these will be marked by an on-screen indicator by the way and then also in the top left on your minimap the third one will be in the cinema and this one has three locations as well and then finally the last one will be inside of the video store all the way in the back but this is not in the main building itself it's actually like sort of in the back hallway slash closet and uh there's gonna be three spots in that little hallway as well they're all really easy to find so once you've got all four components to the repair kit head back over to the teleporter that led to the bunker and just repair the device this will give you access to the bunker entrance and this entire office building will be opened up the first time you access pack a punch and you'll see what I mean in just a second but take yourself all the way to the back of this office room in the hallway and keep following this indicator on screen this will take you into the amplifier room where the final teleporter will be there's also an armor station here in case you want to upgrade your gun or get a shard of armor if you haven't already the first encounter with the abomination will also be done immediately when trying to enter this teleporter now and a quick tip to take these off very quickly simply wait for the mouth to open and to see the blue smoke coming out of it and then deal damage to that particular area works very similar to the margwa and bo3 technically you can still damage it just by shooting it wherever but the damage is so minimal it's really not worth it simply wait until you can get those big numbers in and then you'll take these out literally no problem but once you've done that you are free to head through the teleporter and head over to pack punch now this is going to be the observation room in which this is a completely safe area just for the entire game however these orange crystals in here are radiation so you only have a limited time to hang out but once uh, you're in here you have access to pack a punch also phd slider and i'm also going to recommend that while you're in here go to this red button in the back and then interact with this thing under the machine i'm gonna just gonna say this will set up the easter egg but you, even if you're not doing an easter egg run it's worth it to have it for this because this will give you access to the free wonder weapon chrysalis quest 
Also, there are trial stations in here if you want to work on those and maybe obtain the Wonder Weapon that way. But if you want to do the guaranteed Wonder Weapon quest, that's what we're going to work on right now. After you've hit the button and waited a full round, head over to this donut shop. And you'll know that these crash landed into the map. It'll be it'll be very apparent that they're here. And then once this crystal just sitting in the back behind the counter, it's going to have a shield over top of it. So you just interact with this crystal and you're going to get a ton of zombie spawns in order to attack you and attack the crystal. You just need to sort of uh, fend off these waves the entire time for the shield to dissipate and break and it takes about a minute i would say maybe a minute and a half you'll know when the crystal core explodes and you can actually grab the piece that you're good to go and that will be one element in your hud one part of the crystal axe wonder weapon we're going to build the second part you need to get is a little bit more uh straightforward honestly all you need to do is craft a flamethrower and you need to wait for a tormentor to spawn which are the like more red crystal looking zombies and it's just best to be in an area where you can see them coming and you need to kill them specifically of course with the flamethrower once you do that uh, keep in mind actually if these get too close to you they will explode and you'll not be given this piece so you need to take them out with a flamethrower before they explode and you'll be given the tempered heart as your second piece to the wonder weapon and then the final piece is you actually need a margo to spawn in you can actually stay in the same room if you're doing it over here and you just need a margo to shock one of these like dark ether crystals on the ground somewhere in this room this one's pretty easy to do so it, it will do an electric attack once it's at a distance and you just stand here for a quick second while it's shocking you and the crystal it will eventually explode revealing the third and final piece you need for the wonder weapon and that will be all three and then now if you're in this room you can literally just head straight over to the right side where this reactor is and there should be a tub full of like a liquid you can interact with this machine to place all of the elements inside like this ethereal pool or whatever and this is going to take like a little bit but basically this is the part that i've seen a lot of guides miss you can't just wait for it to be done you actually need to now get melee kills right in front of the machine not too many i think it's about 10 or 15 kills more or less but it's really easy to do if you have like a frenzied guard charge and you can just slow them down or if you have something like a decoy grenade you can get those in too the earlier you do this the better and especially on insta kills it's very easy but it's really not too hard at all just get a few melee kills in front of this and very quickly you'll be given the chrysalax savager wonder weapon in mind other people in your game can also obtain the wonder weapon via trials or even the mystery box however this is just the guaranteed way to get it especially if you're doing an easter egg run and you want a method to get it each and every single time this is how it's done now next i'm going to show you a really neat little easter egg with bubby that you can do and this is a pretty hard one but you need to have phd slider for this you need to slide off of this building on the bar rooftop and land at this like little pothole on the street it will explode revealing some sort of random drop it can be a nuke double points fire sale whatever it is literally anything and then as soon as you've gotten that one head over to the any town west you can just cut right through the cinema jump up on these crates and then simply jump off onto the second similar looking pothole and an ether bunny will pop out of it and once you grab that ether bunny take that over to bubby and he'll be right in front of burger town once you interact with the back there should be this like little compartment that opens up you can place the ether bunny inside of the uh, bubby statue as well and this will begin a two minute lockdown which to be honest is actually like really hard I i'm gonna be real make sure that you are pack a punch make sure you're set up for this things i'm gonna recommend are the flamethrower also a frenzied guard and some kind of pack a punch wonder weapon and for certain the wonder weapon. Now, this lockdown starts out really easy because there's only one port on which they spawn from and also bubby will throw out cheeseburgers so that you can recover hp by eating them but it will get more difficult as it goes on because more and more portals open up this lockdown it's not only the fact that you need to survive but you also need to more importantly defend bubby he will have a health bar that's just above the time and you can see just basically the indicator of where he's at a couple of tips because i did fail this my first time around because i just wasn't prepared i didn't really know what to expect but definitely use frenzied guard because it will just buy you a ton of time and use it when like don't use it until the second portal spawns and things start to get a little bit hectic save things like the flamethrower and even all of your equipment to recharge your frenzy guard maybe even if you need a second use to slow down the zombies once again because it does get really intense near the end and if you lose health on this it will just completely fail but assuming you do complete this you'll know that you get it right because you'll be given a large loot chest and inside of this you'll be given some really neat intel which is basically samantha's ballad which i'm pretty sure is sung by julie nathanson i'm not sure about that
You can get a bunch of other neat items out of this chest as well, like scrap, perks, even the wonder weapon potentially, or like a ray gun or something. But there's a lot of other methods for obtaining other neat goodies as well, which we're going to get into. Also, keep in mind that this boardroom will now open up the first time you've interacted with the teleporter. A lot of people just kind of forget this section of the map exists, and that's where the wonder fizz is located, just in case you didn't know. But now you can take yourself over to the arcade, and once you have an arcade token, which can either drop from a zombie randomly, or you can head to the back of the room and knife this machine that we're you can purchase the tokens from you'll get one free knife per game so basically just one free token per game and you can use this on any machine you want there's a Dreisendrock pinball machine there is a world at war machine which we'll get into and then there's an rcxd machine now the first one with Dreisendrock, they're all their own little mini games so i'll explain how this one works you just need to get as many kills as you can as quickly as possible inside of this soul box you can see it perimetered by the pink ring and you're going to get zombies from a bunch of different lo locations and the quicker you kill them the more you'll get and the better rewards you'll obtain out of this dragon as well very straightforward very simple i have gotten the wonder weapon out of this before although sometimes this chest seems to be pretty hit or miss things considered this is probably the quickest mini game to do so if you just want to like get one out of the way and get as many rewards as possible i do recommend this one but if you want something a little more challenging you can go over to the world of war machine which you'll be put into the very classic nocturne toten now this isn't just about being here in nocturne toten it's its own little like interesting mini game you're given no perks nothing else not even a specialist you have 32 bullets in your m1911 and you need to kill zombies as quickly as possible you have to beat three waves the best way to do this is literally just one tap head Headshots as much as you can with the 1911. On round two, you'll be given a Mark 14 to complete round three with. You just need to kill zombies again as, qu as quickly as possible. Try to one shot the headshot because that's how you're going to deal the most damage. If you really need to, you can knife them like four or five times to get the kill, but it is going to cost you a bunch of seconds. Ultra efficient, you can still have M1911 ammo left over as well as the Mark 14 to get it done, but assuming you are quick enough and you beat all three stages, kill all of the zombies in the given period of time, you're going to be given three different loot chests, like basically one bigger one for each wave you do, and then the third and final one will be the most. I haven't really gotten anything too crazy out of this one, to be honest. Like, it, it'll give you a lot of high grade salvage and you'll get points, and also like a full meter to charge your specialist, but that's pretty much it for this one. It's just a really fun mini game to do it does take a little longer but it's very enjoyable now next really cool thing you can do is if you find yourself in main street and you're at the pizza shop you can access a secret room if you have ether shroud there's this wooden door that if you can ether shroud behind it you can open it from the back side and inside of this room you're going to see the big homie ronald ray gun and there's pizzas on the table that you can pick up and it'll basically uh, allow you to deliver an order on the other section of the map so there's a bunch of locations where these can be delivered at pretty much the same stores in which you got the repair kit from like the bar, Burger Town, and also the VCR repair shop. They're all very close to one another. Now, every time you deliver pizza, go back to Ronald Reagan and request a payment from him, and he'll give you some kind of reward. Now, despite what YouTube videos might have you think, this is not, unfortunately, a guaranteed way to get a free ray gun, although you do have a very high chance of getting one as a reward from Ronald Reagan. You can do all four pizzas, and there is, like, a, a pretty high chance that you will obtain that, or at least something else that's pretty good. But I've played a couple of games, and there's definitely been like two or three where I just straight up did not get a ray gun at all. A, a couple things with this is that stamina up really helps, obviously, transporting the pizzas. Also, PhD slider is really good for movement as well. You're going to have a lot more time than you think in order to transport these pizzas as long as you really know where to go. You just got to go through a teleporter, other side of the map, and you can get this done, no problem. If you do happen to get given a ray gun on a really early round, then congratulations. That's like probably the best possible outcome. And of course, you can pack a punch that like right away. But at this point in the game, you're probably pretty familiar with everything. You've got the entire map opened up and everything at your disposal at this point in the game you'll probably be pretty comfortable with getting around as well and you pretty much have the freedom to do whatever you want you can either go for high rounds or you can take on the main easter egg at this point and if you don't know how to do that and you would like to i have a full link in the description for the easter egg guide for the main quest of forsaken make sure to go check that out linked down below but i wanted to give you guys a basic setup of the map and how to understand it and also do a lot of really neat side quests honestly treyarch has really gotten better with the side quests in cold war as far as their quality and like enjoyment so i hope this is the direction that they continue in vanguard because they've really improved over the past couple months and i do want to say like a, a, a big congratulations for that pretty much but anyways guys that's going to be pretty much the ultimate guide for forsaken i hope this was clear and concise and you learned a lot from this video once again if you did i would really appreciate a thumbs up before you go i worked very hard on this subscribe also if you're new to the channel for more zombies content and of course make sure to go follow me over on twitch where i live stream zombies quite frequently i love to hang out with you guys it's uh, going to be down below and come join the community it's a great place to hang out
But other than that, have a great rest of your day, everybody. I'm going to go for now. Take it easy and peace out.